YT homies, it's your girl Alethea coming at you with another video. And in this video, I am here to share with you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on for aesthetics. Let me put it back in the box. I'm here to share with you my thoughts on the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Foundation. I'm going to tell you how I was able to color match myself with this foundation. Then I'm going to put this foundation on and I'm going to tell you how I feel about this foundation. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing whether or not or how I matched up myself and if my match was perfect, as you can see, <laughs> please continue to watch. I've been playing with my camera because it seems like the lighting is off, but I hope it is not. But anyway, we are coming in. I am coming in because it's not we, it's me, right? It's just me, right? Anyway, I am coming in to try this Pat McGrath Labs Foundation. So I've already primed my skin and I used... Somebody go ahead and type it in the comment section. Y'all already know what I used. Y'all already know what I used. I used my Fenty primer I didn't use a second primer today simply because I've never tried the foundation first off and then I didn't buy the Pat McGrath foundation but after I did her master class I had that 15% off code and so I decided to go ahead and just try the foundation I took a chance at buying it online I did that online match thing and I hope it works because y'all I mean I still have the box and everything and I'll send this back and trade it for another color if I have to so but here goes nothing and of course, y'all know I've never tried her foundation, so this will be my first time trying the foundation. And, girl, girl, girl. <laughs> I always throw away my foundation boxes, but I am keeping this box. Baby, this box feels elegant. You know, it feels like elegant. Y'all, don't, don't mind my nails. I need to put my press-ons on, but anyway. Look at that. So let me tell y'all before I pull out the color, let me tell y'all what I did. So you all know my regular color in Fenty is 360. So I pulled up and I matched the 360 to see what color it would be in the Pat McGrath. So according to Sephora's website, the color 360, which is my normal shade, matches color 19 in the Pat McGrath. And number, which is medium 19, not number 19, but medium 19. And medium 19 is a medium with peach undertones. I do not have peach undertones. And then and what I did was I decided to put in my summer color when my tan is on and popping which is 385 and I came up with medium 21 which medium 21 reads as a medium with neutral olive undertones and I have neutral undertones so instead of me going in the middle with the two of those with the medium 20 which is medium with red undertones which I'm not a red undertone I decided to go ahead and go with 21 so if anything this should definitely fit me but I've done that shade finder before thing and it did not match so let's see so now let's go ahead and take it out and I'm going to be using this expert face brush this is by real techniques now normally I use my y'all it is so sad it is so sad I'm at home and my foundation brushes and stuff are a mess they are dirty these right here I usually use these these NYX I got I love those so let's go ahead so let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Okay, okay, okay. So I can't tell what it looks like because the glass is frosted. Very, very, very heavy. Like it's heavy for a foundation. And it is, I'm not gonna read all this stuff on here that it tells you about the foundation because I'm sure if you all have seen someone review this, y'all have gotten all this stuff, but I'm just gonna read this part. It's buildable, perfecting coverage, weightless texture, sublime satin finish, runway tested, mother approved. Okay, universal formula for all skin types, oil free, paraben free, fragrance free. So that is wonderful. So here is the top. And I've been hearing people say, well, watching videos where people say the top feels cheap. And I wouldn't say cheap, but it definitely doesn't fit this bottle. I will say that. So let's see what we got. Okay. 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 I might. I might. Okay. Did that shade finder do me right this time? Okay. Very, 
very light very very light very liquidy light formula so let's see girl y'all better stop y'all better stop y'all better stop omg y'all shade finder did me right this time omg shade finder is on point i know that the shade finder is correct this is the absolute first time i have purchased some makeup online some foundation online sight unseen that matched me first time first time this feels so 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 light so light I feel like I have absolutely nothing on my face nothing absolutely nothing okay so let me do like everybody else do when in Rome let me do another pump okay a second pump so I didn't get any down there really They may not match it up correctly when it comes to some other brands, but when it came to this Pat McGrath, when it came to the mother herself, yes, 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 yes. Whomever matched these up was on point. And then what really got me was I was seeing some people that I thought were equivalent to my shade that were going with shades like medium deep 23, or medium deep 22 or medium deep 24 and I'm sitting there like well how can I be in the medium and these people are just about the same complexion as me but it's all about those undertones I always say it's all about those undertones if you know your undertones if you know your undertones then you're gonna be good to go you're gonna be good to go look at this look at this match look at this match Look at this man. All right, you guys. So here is the finished face with the Pat McGrath foundation. I can say that during the time that I've had this foundation on and I've had a full face done now for about 30 minutes, I can say that it does seem to oxidize just a teeny weeny wee teeny weensy 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 bit is a weeny bit weensy bit yeah just a little bit not that much but it's not something that oh my gosh later on you're gonna look like a whole different person because right now i am tanned so i am rocking my tanned color so i am looking bronzed and so yeah that's what i'm dealing with right now so yes i would say that this color is a perfect match as far as the foundation how do i feel about this Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Whew! That is a mouthful. How do I feel about this foundation? I am loving it because it's so lightweight. I almost don't feel like I have anything on my face when it comes to the foundation. Of course, yes, I have products on my face. I can tell products on my face. So if anybody ever tells you that they can't tell they have products on their face, they're lying because you know when something's on your face versus when something is not on your face. And right at this moment, yes, at this moment, I can tell that there's product on my face. However, <laughs> however, 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 when it comes to this foundation, I will say that I am glad that I did purchase this foundation. And I will say that the color match with Sephora on the Sephora website did do it justice. I've had some foundations that Sephora's theme was all point, did not match up right. But when it came to this one, 
when it comes to this one yes it did so i am in the color medium 21 that is my summer color so yes i am glad that i bought the foundation this foundation has how much in there it has 1.18 fluid ounces which is more than a lot of other foundations that are only 1.0 ounces yes this foundation costs a pretty penny but i did get a 15 percent discount on this foundation but it still costs more than the fenty which is the main foundation that i normally wear but i like i said i did get a discount so i am grateful for the fact that i did get a discount so i am grateful for that so all in all with this pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime perfection foundation the mouthful yes it's the winner it's the winner in my book i am glad i bought it i am glad i bought it so i guess that's going to be it for this one if you are on the fence about this foundation and if you want to try it if you have the coins to go ahead and give this foundation a try i say go ahead and give this foundation a try do not break your bank do not break your pocket trying to buy this foundation make sure that you have it in your budget to pay for this foundation or as i would say it's just like this when you when, when it comes to money this is the way i look at it if i can afford to loan it to someone or give it to someone without missing it then i'm going to loan it or i'm going to give it and i look at it the same way when it comes to buying products if i am not if i'm going to be all right with it because i've had some people to say comments about you know how much things cost and i understand that because i'm one of those people too i watch my pennies i watch my budget but i also work and i pay my bills and i pay my bills on time i take care of my household so if there is something that i want to purchase for myself i'm going to purchase that for myself without giving it a second thought and that's the same way it was when it came to this foundation so yes i am glad i purchased this foundation so i've said a mouthful and that is it for this one so Go ahead, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Go ahead and share this video across all your social media sites. Until the next time and in between time, you ladies and gentlemen be safe and I will do what? Catch you on the flip side. Bye.